No, so tell me, so how did you start liking math? After that, I got really into integrals because it... And then I know right now you are in the military. People always ask me, why are you doing math? Isn't this kind of pointless? How did you find my channel? Two ways of expressing it using something that Dr. Payam did with the reflection formula. I did not expect to be a meme. They're just blown away at how easy it is. We <laughs> cut the part where we say no one's gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, we, should, we should have that. Hello, Dr. Payan and Chester. Hello. Hello. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, today I have a super, super special video for you guys. I have Chester right here. Hello. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you, You're Chester. <laughs> wow, I cannot believe. First of all, let me just tell you guys that Chester is one of my subscribers and he has been subscribing to me since that I only had less than 1,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. That was such a long time ago, Chester. How did you find my channel? Um, so originally, I was looking at a, a video trying to find, um, I think it was something to do with like first grade. I was looking up really boring math or something. And then in the corner, I saw I saw him in his yellow shirt with his hand across. He was doing <laughs> the volume of a, of a cylinder or something like that. And I was like, I'll watch it, might as well. Uh -huh. I've just been subscribed ever since. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's such a long time ago. <laughs> wow, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I know right now you are in the military, right? You will yes. be uh, going back tomorrow. So today, I feel so fortunate and so lucky to have you to be on my channel. And thank you so much for coming very to honored, UCI. Very no, so tell me, so how did you start liking math? I heard there's this great story behind it. Okay, so um, my friend, uh, he asked me a bunch of things about why math is useful and I there's a show called Person of Interest and it my parents love this show to death and there's a scene in there where the professor is also one of the main characters mm -hmm. he talks about all the applications of pi so you have your birthday your passcode your social security number and I saw that and it was just, like blew my mind away I mean I, I had always been good at math I've done Kumon since like I was in grade school and then from there, it just kind of skyrocketed and I was obsessed with numbers like pi and e. I, I told uh, Blackman Red Pen, I, I had a formula for pi. It probably would have taken the whole page and mm -hmm. like, like this whole entire thing right here in like size six font, but it does a hundred digits of pi every turn. Wow. Yeah. And I was, I was just like, okay, I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> and then after that, I got really into integrals because it, it's kind of like a challenge of creating closed form things, which is why um, one of the things that we were planning to do today was sign of 10 degrees, because he, once again, Blackburn Repent had proved it was rational. He hadn't done a video using cubic formula yet uh -huh. on a uh, closed form, but I found, well, I, I erased the bottom one, but I have two two ways of expressing it using something that Dr. Payam did with the reflection formula and another of my own using complex analysis. Very nice. And later on, we will be doing the math video, right? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, Pai, I'm sorry for the interruption. No Can you talk about that poster over there? Oh, okay. Board? Like, what I have that poster, to be honest? What did you have that poster okay. right there? You know how, how people say, oh my god, I can't even. Well, guess what? You can even. <laughs> my god. So, so I found this picture on Google, and apparently there's a website where you can just upload the file uh -huh. and make a poster out of it. And ta da! There you go. So whenever I'm like sad doing math, I just see this and I was like, you know what? I can't even. This is genius. That's a pretty cool psychology. <laughs> Seriously, man. Did you make the mug yourself too? No, no, no. I bought it on Amazon. Oh, okay, okay, oh, I okay. Gotta, I gotta get one Yeah. Office. Count to the map side, we have pie. pie. Nice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like some of the viewers will ask that poster because that's the thing I noticed earlier as well. Yeah. I actually I never noticed until today because oh, really? you finally closed the door. It's true. <laughs> My god. It's true, it's always open. By the way, Chester got this for me. So cool. Thank you. Let's talk about the things we have on the, ah, on the table. Yeah, let's just do that first. Right? Let's yeah. talk about the things on the table. Yeah, go ahead. Linear algebra. My wow. favorite linear algebra book <laughs> of all time. <laughs> and what else do we have? And of course, by the way, that's the book I used back in 2007. And I still have it. And oh my God, I used it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's like a Bible of linear algebra, right? Would you say so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. But, and what else do you have? Ah, uh, and the Bible of PDE. Oh my God. Yeah. Wait, Wait that's, that's your advisor, right? My advisor, yeah. Evan. George, uh, come closer. <laughs> wow. Cool. 
It's amazing because I went to this conference in Italy uh -huh. and I, at some point I said, oh, Evans is my advisor. And they're like, oh my God, Evans is your advisor? And they all wanted to touch my hand. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my I was gosh. like, okay. And he said like, oh, he wrote the Bible of PDEs. Wow. Which was like cool. <laughs> very nice, yeah, very, very nice. Funny. What else do you have? Oh, oh so a postcard no, of this. This is really cool. A, a snow cone, a snow globe, which uh -huh. by the way was invented in Austria. Uh -huh. Remember, Steve? <laughs> and this is a Google hoop, like a bun cake. And wow. it's like with sugar, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> No, and then this fake plant, like modern <laughs> plants, okay? And then this This, this is not the real one, the real one, the real one. Yeah. Just, you can see the difference in how he treats yes. them. Yeah, seriously. This has been here since August. Last year? I've, yeah, and I've never watered it. <laughs> and this, a student showed it, brought this to me. I don't know, it's uh, some very precious Chinese warrior or something. I see, in I see. History. And sombrero. Cool. <laughs> and Berkeley sending me donations. <laughs> uh, the problem is I, I, I went. To... <laughs> like, oh my god! I went to undergrad and grad school in Berkeley. I know. So they did double send me emails. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh man. Huh? I showed I showed him a picture because I originally I was supposed to go to Poland. Um, uh huh. Oh right. Did, yeah. You told me. Yeah. That. And um. They have this suit, they call it the marshmallow suit. It's mm -hmm. it's an extreme cold wet weather thing. And no matter how you wear it, this thing adds like five inches to you everywhere. So you're just like, oh my and God. I have this hilarious picture of me and my friends were just like, soak it in. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If you want that picture, I could send it to you. You put it on an awkward corner of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, okay, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that you learn a lot of math on your own. Just let us know, like, oh. and then maybe say a few things to other people who also like math and then... Okay, so I'll do, like, a brief synopsis of why I like history, or why I like math and its history and so on and so forth, sure. and then yeah. I'll talk about some other people. Okay. I've always been really good at math since I was a little kid. My dad used to call me his, his little whiz kid, um, and my parents put me in the Kumon since... I forget if it was kindergarten or first grade, one of the two, um, but I've always been in some sort of advanced math course. Mm -hmm. um, I finished I finished my high school with uh, a year ahead of where I was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. um, and I've always just really loved challenging myself. I've, I haven't really been out there in many other subjects except maybe philosophy because I like to apply logic, which ties back into math. Um, but the main thing that I like is uh, calculus, which is a lot of what mm -hmm. uh, Blackbird Redfin does. Specifically with challenging integrals, like you doing the Vardy integral. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> you yeah. you doing um, one over x to the sixth power plus one <laughs> zero infinity, which we found a, a really cool, which I talked about a really cool relation to beta function, um, uh, but stuff like that, finding new things and challenging myself. Like I go on Quora a lot, and I. I uh, find really weird and beautiful ways to solve things. Mm -hmm. And so what, one thing that I get a lot of times when I do math, because I do a lot of math in my free time, and I'm just saying that I have a little mm -hmm. I didn't bring it with me, sadly, um, but I have a math just uh, a math book just chocked full of just, it looks like some madman just wrote in it like crazy. Wow. <laughs> um, we all know, like, I got all those notes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let me see, let me see. What's up all these? Your notes, right, Pian? Those are my books, but on the right, they're all the notes. And so one thing I, I always get asked when I'm doing this is why people, people always ask me, why are you doing math? Isn't this kind of pointless? And I, I showed both of them a, a, the video of the person of mm -hmm. interesting with Pi. Oh, yeah. And, um, the thing is, is that everything that you can think about in the world is connected. I mean, math is connected to art, physics is connected to sports, sports is connected to how people view social media. And so everything's kind of intertangled. And I view that like math in and of itself is one of the most concrete things that I like and I can use it to explain things. So one thing of why I really love math is I view a lot of the world as interconnected, like art is connected to different shapes and you can relate shapes to math, physics to sports, sports to social media. So everything's really interconnected. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, um, math is one of the things that we can really conceptualize. We can visualize everything we're doing, even things in the complex plane, we have something that we can do. Like I even did a whole bunch of stuff where we were gonna talk about sine and mm -hmm. cosine and trigonometry, yeah. all in complex plane. And it's just something that's so amazing that even if it's so radically out there into infinity with transcendentals, we can still 
we can still grasp it. And so math is something that's, it never ends. And mm -hmm. there's always more, there's always more challenges. Totally. And so I, I, I feel like if there's a challenge and if I'm available to do it, why might as well. I mean, I may not get to every single one because obviously it's never going to end, mm -hmm. but it's just still something to keep me agile and maybe I'll learn something new. Like I told you, I do a lot of learning by myself. I don't, I haven't taken college for a while, mm -hmm. but a lot of what I do, I, I learned on my own. Like I learned calculus, I think from purplemath.com and from really <laughs> weird, um, obscure videos that I saw on the internet. Like, <laughs> um, like it wasn't until I saw your method on the DI method. Uh -huh. I had no idea how to do integration part. I had no wow. idea. Wow. Thank you. I had, I had to all, I had to always look at that formula and I was like, what? And then I saw yours with the simple tab and I was just like, please, please teach this. And so, and so I've, I've told all of my teachers I had at Cal State Long Beach, which she gave a talk at, um, I've told them all that. And all of them tell me hands down that when they, when they show their, their students that, they're just blown away at how easy it is. So they, they, do, they do one day with the formula, they do one day with the tabular, uh -huh. the, yeah. the DI method. And it's just, so like from you, I've probably changed at least a couple hundred people's understanding of integration by parts. Wow, thank wow. you, wow. Yeah. Oh, speaking of calculus, mm -hmm. I remember you told me about the origin of calculus oh, since yes. you like history of math. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing, so tell oh. us about Okay, so I'm gonna give a slight shout out to Simon Clark. He's a physicist. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh man, yeah. Um, he has a video on Pi where he talks about this. So just look up look up that video. And also his video on cosine is just mind blowing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. Controversial. I think that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so when Newton and Leibniz were talking about calculus, although that's not what they called it at the moment, like Newton called it fluxions and he would he would explain his fluxions that would later be known as calculus uh, through uses of little pebbles. And so people would call calculus or his fluxions changes in little pebbles. Mm -hmm. And so calculus, uh, I think you said it, it, it means like the study of changes and right, stuff like that, right, small right. changes. And so the, the term actually comes from Newton talking about little pebbles. So for a while, calculus was called the study of pebular change. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I found, I found that pretty funny when I took that class. I think, um, uh, what is his name? Well, at, at CCLB, uh, it's math. 310 is where I found it out. Uh, you're gonna have to put up on the screen somewhere because I'm blanking on his name. Okay. Yeah. But um, probably my most favorite math teacher I've ever had. Uh, he He's kind of like you and him where you oh. guys are just excited to learn about math. Oh. Um, <laughs> well, one of the only teachers I've, I've actually really had, most, most math teachers I've ever had, sadly, just kind of do it and they get through the day. I'm mm -hmm. just like, no, this guy, he comes in the class and he's walking in all joyous and he goes, uh, hey. oh. Um, my future. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he, he had a really funny wager where uh, he, his first day of class, he came in with a bunch of like little, like, you know, Pan Express, they have those little fortunes. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so he had a bunch of blank ones and he had a question up on, this, on, on his um, whiteboard and it said, to my wife, do I teach this class or not? And so the funny thing was he said, if more than half the class says, teach this class, his wife has to give him foot massages. And I Ooh. found that really, really funny. I was like, <laughs> he's like, he's getting foot massages by bribing his class. Wow. Uh, that was that was my first time meeting him. Yeah. yeah, obviously it was a joke. Just gotta kind of get us up on our feet. Oh. But it was still hilarious. I mean, you'd never expect that coming into a math class. Like, hey, <laughs> my wife will give me foot massages if I give you all A's. Oh my God, what, that reminds me of go ahead. Okay. You know how like fortune cookies? <laughs> They're like, this word in Chinese means something, okay? Right. And there's one word I know what's in Chinese. It's jiaozi, uh -huh. which means dumpling. Yeah. And I went to this Mongolian restaurant and my fortune was dumpling means jiaozi. <laughs> Surprisingly, in terms of Panda Express fortunes, I have not had one that's been wrong. Oh, oh interesting. I have, I have a little collection of all the ones and it's really weird within like, an hour to three days yeah. later, whatever that is, will happen. Oh my god! Yeah. Should we just go to Panda nice Express later on yeah, too? <laughs> hey, I'm down for it. I like the walk fried shrimp. Okay. Time check? What? Oh yeah, time check. Oh, I have five, I have five minutes. See? 
<laughs> my my army instincts are kicking in because I'm already <laughs> outside. I yeah. have to go to a seminar afterwards. And by the way, this is amazing. But I talked to the speaker yesterday, and he remembered my grad school application, which was like nine years ago. Wow! Insane. It was like, oh yeah, you worked with Tataru. I was like, how did you know? It was like, oh, it was on your grad school application. I was like. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. What's the chest? Wow. I mean, whoa. Wow. I did not expect to be a meme. <laughs> but that's a good meme, though, so it's good. Yeah. If I demonstrate anything like funny, I just put a whoa. whoa. Yeah. Cool. So you'll be back in like an hour, huh? Yes. Okay, okay. Are you going to sneak out like after 20 minutes? <laughs> or you know what we could do? We could, we could all stand really, really still and then have him fade out and we'll just be like, Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, but by the way, so, so that speaker, okay? okay? So I also gave a talk on Tuesday. Uh -huh. Guess what he talked about? Oh. What? Fractional derivatives. Oh, wow. I was like, I was just giggling the whole time. I was like, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Very nice. Well, he gave me very nice in ideas. Can, so can I ask you yeah. where where that whole entire like um, not uh, not a normal derivative, but like yeah. all the other types of derivatives, like imaginary, fractional, irrational. Yes, yes. Where where did that? Did you find it in a paper somewhere? No, so so, so fractional derivatives they're very well known in PDEs because there's some PDEs that you cannot write with a Laplacian, but with what's called a fractional Laplacian. So, and the, the, at least this thing with the Fourier transform mm -hmm. is also very well known, but uh, all the other stuff like imaginary derivatives mm -hmm. and fractal derivatives, I kind of came up with my on my own, yeah. I had a, I had a nice. imaginary one was. <laughs> yes, yes, imaginary. <laughs> that was seriously imaginary. It was imaginary. But yeah. I, I, yeah. Forget, I forget what video you had it in, but it was, um, you showed like a kind of general-ish formula for it. I was like, there, finally I can see it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But, but that one is well known. It so is okay. PDEs so, so. See, I I haven't done much work into your PDE. Yeah, I've done I've done a little bit of linear algebra, right. but PDE I haven't really like had to do much of it just yes. because that's that was just what it was at the time. Right. right. I mean, as I said, I'm really good at integrals. You, you also need to know uh -huh. a lot of math to do PDEs. Like, mm -hmm. really, if you want to do it seriously, you need to know lots of analysis and stuff. So. By the way, if you need anything on PDE, you can check them both out. He has a bunch of playlists, and so does he. Yes. I don't have anything on PDE. Oh, Payam. Well, I just have stuff. PDE. You have PDE. Have it's, it's in black and yellow. Huh? The, all of all of the things are in black. And oh, yellow. that's just ODE. Oh, ODE. that's just ODE. Yeah, yeah, that's just ODE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, there he is. Payam, Payam, Payam. I have yeah. lots of linear algebra videos, by the way. So I've been working hard on that. If you want to see something that brings together all the stuff we do, I recommend the Vardy integral. I, Ooh, I, learned, yes. I learned so much watching that video of how we can tie together sigmas and all oh, different yeah, that theorems. That's crazy, yeah, yeah. How, how many hours did you take Pyan, to prepare that integral? Oh, the Vardy one? Yeah. yeah, I would say five hours or something. Yeah, I mean, Man. Each step is non trivial. Yeah, yeah seriously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See? Your one integral beats my 100 feet, uh, integrals. No, but... Yeah, just one of your integral beats my 100 integrals, man. I should make 100 Vardy integrals. Oh my lord. <laughs> you'll be here for the, the whole summer. 100 Vardy integrals in one take. Yeah, you'll be here for the whole summer. I know. For the next two weeks. Basically. Yeah. But anyway, I think Pyron, you have to go right now. We'll I resume yes, in I like... Yes, I do have to go. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. We'll resume, yeah. right, for part two. Yes. Woo! Okay, cool. You know what? I can't eat.